few days ago, I got unlisted video link from somebody. She said, uh, see this one. And this is the video filmed from Indian woman named Anam Jyoti. I am Jyoti. Uh, today is the seventh day from the day I have got rejected as a suspect of having coronavirus. And uh, till now, I have no symptoms of having coronavirus. I am fine and with good health condition. Uh, my friends, those who went back to India, uh, those who are in isolation, uh, for them there is uh, some test conducted by the government every day, like the blood test, uh, like the temperature check and so on. But though I am a suspect, till now I have no one has conducted any test for me to say whether I am having coronavirus or not. I have been talking with the Indian Embassy every day till now uh, about when I can go back to home. Uh, they said that they are talking with the Chinese officials and the Chinese officials are reacting passive to the situation. Uh, I want to ask that I am in such a critical place, in such a critical situation where the possibility of infect infection in this area is very high. What if I get infected now? I cannot live in a place... Uh, any longer where the pos where the infection possibility is very high even my visa is expired is getting expired in this in the end of this month in on february 19th i want to say that the chinese people have not taken any responsibility uh, they have not neither conducted any tests for me to say that i am having or not the coronavirus they have neither kept me in observation i am just living in my dormitory and and nah, and they are not even allowing me to uh, at least go back to home. I have asked them at least send me to a safer place like can send me to other city so that the possibility of infection may be low. I can stay safer until I go home. But the Chinese government has not even given the permission for that. I request the, I request the government to do something at least uh, at least our government to take responsibility and to take take me back home. Because if I were in with my friends in India, I would have, even though I was in isolation, I would have been at least conducted some test and, uh, and, and could say that I am having or not having the virus. Thank you. Jodi was one of 10 Indians who were not allowed to board the two evacuation flights from Wuhan because the Chinese authority did not consider them medically fit. So now, 80 Indians are still left in the central Chinese province of Hubei. 22 years old Jyoti, a trainee at TCL, had been second list of passengers for the February 1st flight. Before boarding the flight, all passengers were first screened by Chinese authorities. But unfortunately, Jyoti's body temperature was recorded first at 36.9 Celsius degree. The second recording showed 38 and then another third test showed 37. She got shocked from those three results and said that these were probably a result of stress, long waiting and the cumulative layers of clothing that she wore against the cold weather. So while the others were boarding the flight, she was given an option to ride ambulance to hospital or return to dormitory. She said, I asked them to take me to my dormitory because I didn't want to go to hospital well full of patients. So for the last week, she has been staying alone in the dormitory, which she once shared with other Indians. A male colleague who was also similarly not allowed to board the flight and is also staying in another part of the building. Without much of hope of leaving Wuhan and early date, Jyoti had recorded a video expressing her status. Jyoti pointed out that while the Indians quarantined on return to Delhi are regularly checked, but she has not been checked even once after leaving the airport. She is also worried about her Chinese visa was going to run out on February 19. Today is February 20. Chinese government told she could take the next evacuation flight to the following day, but his fiancé said that she wasn't permitted to. His fiance said, China has not responded to Indian request to either allow Jody to be evacuated or to have her transfer to, to some other city where there is a less infection. She has no fever now, but she is very scared. She calls me whenever she finds a mobile signal, and I keep telling her we are talking to government officials and ministers that we will get her back.
but nothing's happening. Her situation is really bad. She is right in the center of the virus outbreak. No one comes to check on her. It's not like anyone has done tests on her to confirm if she is infected. She is in panic every day. I can sense it. Her mental state is getting worse. Today is February 20, and when I was finding about her, I could see nothing about her situation. More than 20% of my channel viewers are Indian. So I hope you guys share this video and let other Indian know about this situation. From a global point of view, her situation may not be that serious. But from the perspective of her and her friends, her family and her fiancé, it could be everything. I hope a lot of people will help her. And also I hope she will have a good result soon. Unfortunately, I don't have any contact with Jyoti. If you know about her and if she wants to contact with me, please let me know. I will write my address in the description box.